Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about stream readers. Now, if you remember from the previous tutorials, we learned how to write text to a text file. Well, now we're going to be learning how to read text from a text file. So we'll go ahead and create a new project. We will select a Windows Forms application, and we will call it Streams again. Go ahead and click OK and looks like we'll have to do streams one. Click OK and wait for that to load. Okay, so now now that it, is, it has loaded, um, we'll go ahead and add a text box. We will make it multi-line and then we'll make it read only. So read only is going to be equal to true and then we'll add a button and we will set the button name or the text, we'll set the text to load file and we'll set the name to button load okay so now we'll just double click on load file and this will open up our click event handler for it now just like before to use any, any type of stream we're gonna have to type imports the system.io namespace so this gives us the classes that we can use to read and write to text files now there are a bunch of other ways to read and write to text files but this is just how we're learning it in these tutorials so we're going to go ahead and declare a stream reader so private file to load as new stream reader and we'll go ahead and set the path of this to the same path that we used for the last tutorial. So we're going to get myfile.txt in the G drive. Now you can see that I have it right here and we can edit that with Notepad++ and I have Hello YouTube, On Live Gamer, and The New Boston in there. So we'll go ahead and close this out and we'll go ahead and minimize that. So now that we have our stream reader and we have our location that we're going to load from, whenever they click load what we're going to do is type file to load dot read and you can see that we have read read block read line or read to end read reads only one character read block um, reads a maximum of count characters from the current stream um, so you can uh, tell it to read a certain amount of characters you can read one line so it really reads until it hits an escape key or uh, down to the next line and it uh, ends reading and what we're going to use is read to end so it's going to read everything inside of the file so now that we've called read to end what we're going to need to do is put all that text inside of our text box so we'll type text box one dot text is going to be equal to whatever is in that file so let's go ahead and run this hopefully we won't get any errors and now when we click load file, we get Hello YouTube, On Live Gamer, and The New Boston. So we can go ahead and close out of that. And let's open my file again and we can edit it. So we'll add uh, Visual Basic uh, dot net and programming. So now that we've added some more stu <coughs> stuff to our text file let's go ahead and run this again and see if it shows up when we load the file so you can see that when we load the file we get hello YouTube on live gamer the new Boston visual basic dot net and programming so go ahead and practice loading files using a stream reader um, you can also load files in uh, add stuff to them and then save them after that um, so that's what I want you guys to do is make an app that will do that um, if you don't want to, you can just go ahead and move on to the next tutorials. If not, and you make one, feel free to leave it in a video response. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next tutorial.